Hello everyone, Mega Man NG here, and it's now time for a new year. New month, new year, you new update, and we're now in the month of January 2017. This re this update won't be long, but I just want to at least make sure I get some stuff out of the way. So let's get started. First up is what to expect for the month of January. Currently at the moment, I'm doing the following two games. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, and Final Fantasy XV main game. They're going to be done within the next few days. Once that's finished, then we're going to be focusing on the post game for Final Fantasy XV. It's not going to be much, it's just going to be me completing like all the remaining side quests and getting all the remaining Royal Arms. As difficult as they can be, trust me. And there's also the Pokemon Sun post game, which surprisingly enough, I haven't put enough focus on. I'll be truthful because I didn't think I would like put it on the back burner for so long. But I'm going to say right here that I am going to get them done. And how this is going to end is going to be pretty simple. It's just going to be how it ends is going to be me taking on the Elite Four, like the champion rematches that are going to happen. That's how it's going to pretty much end and it'll pretty much be it. So bottom line, that'll be much else for the Pokemon Sun post game. Other than that, and that's it. Besides, it's not like I got anything else to do. I need something to build, like, to keep me busy until the eventual release of Gravity Rush 2. Speaking of which, we're in the upcoming playthroughs territory, as we have two new games that we're going to be seeing on this channel. Gravity Rush 2 Kingdom and Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Those are basically four days apart. Gravity Rush 2 coming on the 20th of January, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 on the 24th, and that's going to be dicey. So, here's the deal. Once Gravity Rush 2 starts, then I'm going to be going full throttle on it. And after that will be basically Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8. And speaking of which, I have a straw poll for it in the description below. Make sure you click the link on the description as well as the comments. So that way you can decide how I should do 2.8. Should it be... Should I start first like Kingdom Hearts HD Dream Drop Distance or just go straight to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep 0.2 A Fragmentary Passage? I'm letting you guys decide this time. So to this year 2017 is the year of Kingdom Hearts and I know for a fact that you guys are going to be looking forward to it big time. So yeah, that's what you'll be expecting in the month of January. But for now, I'm going to get Shantae and the Pirate's Curse done as well as Final Fantasy XV. Once that's finished, then I do post-game Final Fantasy XV, as well as finish up the Pokemon Sun post-game. Next up is a channel revamp. Now, here's how this is going to be done. Playthroughs are still going to keep going regardless, in spite of how things are in YouTube. But however, the uploads are going to be as they are. Basically, on the weekdays, will be twice a day, at 12 p.m. and at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Whereas on weekends will be two to three a day. It can depend. So that's pretty much the schedule it is for the weekends and the weekday. There, I am going to say that I need a new intro for my channel. One that's pretty much blaze blue free. I want it to be served as a new year, new beginning, new everything. But the channel banner that was made by YouTuber Slow Plays stays as is. I mean, it's going to stay as is. Or maybe somewhere down the line I can commission him for like a much better banner. But hey, at least the banner is good enough since it really is attracting a lot. Meh. Now comes the episode reviews return. They're going to be returning in late January, starting with The Flash Season 3 Episode 10, Borrowing Problems from the Future. Also, the TMNT reviews, they're going to be coming back in February with Season 4 Episode 23, Taka vs. The World. Now, before anybody asks, yes, the last four episodes were released, but in South Korea in December. It was last month. You can find them on YouTube if you're lucky, but chances are I've seen them, but I'll wait till we get an English dub, and then I will be providing my thoughts on it there. And after that, the wait for Season 5 begins. And yes, Season 5 is going to be the last season of TMNT 2012. So, once season 5 is finished, that's it. I got no more reason to watch Nickelodeon, since it's now a shadow of what it used to be. Now, the next one is not an easy one. It's basically what you can do to help, because a new year means we're going to keep on going strong. We really are going to keep on going strong. At the time of this video, we've hit 28,156 subscribers, meaning the road of 30,000 subscribers on YouTube is already started. There are many ways you can help. 
For example, I have a Vidme account, and my Vidme link is in the description. You can look for it there, click on it, and you'll find my Vidme channel there. I'm mostly uploading playthroughs I've already done, as well as playthroughs that are not only going to be on YouTube, but also on Vidme as well. I figured it'd be, the, it'd, be, it'd be for the best because I'm in need of a new audience. A new audience always helps. In addition, I have my Patreon. And remember, my Patreon is optional, but if you want to help out and support the channel, you can. The link's in the description below. Make sure you check it out. Show some support if you can. And hey, it would really help. Let's also not forget our Patreon shoutouts. Michael Lewis, Sentinator of Team Haruhi, Loremaster22, and Kenny Benji. If you want a shoutout of your own, be sure to click the link in the description and contribute if you want. And last but not least, i back on Twitch, but I'm mostly streaming Overwatch. My s streaming schedule will be whenever I feel like I'm ready, because the issue I have is that since I'm far away from the router, I'm using a network extender. Pretty much the internet can just last two hours and then splat, it just goes down. It's not consistent, and it's giving me a bit of problems when I stream Overwatch. Yes, I do stream Overwatch on Twitch, and it's much better than most other games. Plus, I'm a bit more restrained because I'm mostly focused on the game and kicking butt. That to me is enough, right? So yeah, the link for that will be in the description below. Check it out if you want. And let's end this update by saying that hopefully 2017 will be a better year. Not just for me, but for everyone. And my YouTube channel. 2016 has come and gone, and with it we never have to worry about how bad that year was. At least for this year, it's going to be just as grand. And I hope you guys are going to stick around for what's yet to come because there's so much in this channel that's going on, it's going to be nuts. Means a new year, means a new beginning, and also a new way into hope. And at least this time, I'm going to be here to stay for a very long time. So yeah, that's pretty much for this update. I apologize if it's so sudden because truthfully, I lost the folder which had everything I need to get the video ready. It was supposed to be up at 8 o'clock. But now I just need to get this in because it was kind of messy. Truthfully, 2017 has not been a strong start for me, but I'm hoping to change that. Alright, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And one other thing I forgot to mention in this is that if you follow me on YouTube, or rather if you subscribe to me on YouTube, please be sure to click on the notification bell so that way you'll know when I'll upload next. Shoutouts to John Durhan for being one of the first people of the Notification Squad. And I highly recommend clicking on that bell if you're subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe, click on the bell, make sure the mark is checked for an email notification knowing when I'll upload next, and you're good to go. It helps us fight against YouTube, as well as anything else that comes our way. The only thing that matters now is positivity, and that's what we're going for. And I'm hoping with these, they'll help us go through 2017 without any difficulty. All right, that's pretty much it. This is Mega Man NG signing off. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we continue with more Shantae and the Pirate's Curse and hopefully finish them up along with Final Fantasy XV. Peace out.